Hi, and welcome once again. I'm Shonda Bradshaw, Dr. Mom HD. So today what I want to talk to you about is a common childhood um, illness, and it's called Fitz disease. And that's basically a mild rash. Children from the ages of 5 to about 15, but generally you see it only from 5 to about 10, um, could possibly be exposed to and have fifth disease. So what is fifth disease? Well really what it is is um, the child begins with a low grade fever and we're talking low grade so we're not any higher than 101 Fahrenheit. And what the child would probably also be experiencing is cold, mild cold light symptoms as well which would be um, a runny nose or a stuffy nose and that's something that you know it's very common with the kids. They may even have some diarrhea or they're just you know not feeling a hundred percent. They're just not up to par and you know that they're coming down with something. Fifth disease is a viral infection. So a viral infection can't be treated with an antibiotic. It's actually a virus that goes around and how do you prevent viruses? Hygiene, washing hands. So one way to prevent fifth disease is to definitely encourage your children to continue to wash their hands after they go to the bathroom, once they're playing outside, all of that stuff. Hygiene is important for the kids not to pass on any types of diseases that can happen or colds or flus or anything that they get during their time at school. Um, but fifth disease is really one of those mild, mild rashes that you really just need to be aware of and understand that there really isn't a vaccine for it or anything that you can do. And homeopathically, as much as I'd love to help you, it is something that I would rather your body go through because once you get fifth disease, in most cases, there are rare cases where this doesn't happen, but in most cases, you have already developed the immunity, so therefore you will not get it again. In rare cases, and I actually know a child that has had this numerous times because their body just didn't produce the antibodies. So basically what it is, is the child is exposed to this virus. They are contagious during the time that they get the low-grade fever and the cold-like symptoms. Okay? Once the rash appears, they're really no longer contagious, but this is the only sign that they actually have fifth disease. And what it looks like is that a child looks like they've been slapped in the cheeks. So it's this big, big red mark on their cheeks. It may look like a lacy rash, and what happens is that rash then tends to spread down the trunk or their chest and all the way down to their abdomen. It can be on their arms and it can also be on their legs. It seems to leave the palms and the soles of their feet um, free and clear. They don't seem to be there. The, the rash doesn't seem to appear there. Also, it's not really an itchy rash. It's just more of a nuisance. Um, the, Fever and the cold-like symptoms tend to go away after one to three days, sometimes four, and that's when the rash appears. So those symptoms have all left, and the child doesn't look sick at all and doesn't feel or act sick when the rash is available. The schools will tell you, though, that the child is not allowed to come back until they have been away for so long or until the rash has disappeared. That rash can take about a week, two, three weeks, just depending on the child and depending on how severe that they got this virus. So remember, it's a virus, a fact, um, antibiotic is not going to help you whatsoever. What it is, is just basically let the symptoms just work through your child's body. Now, in rare cases when the child has like an autoimmune system or, or a disorder, um, or has AIDS, like AIDS or leukemia or anything like that, that's when you may be a little more concerned because um, their bodies aren't going to be able to... Um, thwart this off as easily as a um, child that doesn't have this type of autoimmune disorder. So those are the ones where you're going to have to be careful and you may want to take your child immediately to the doctor. I mean, this is something that you don't play around with. I mean, any, any um, disorder that they could get, cold, flu, any of that, they really don't need, they don't have an opportunity to play around with this. So this is where you would involve your family doctor, family physician, if you're seeing a homeopath, then involve your homeopath or your naturopath, whoever you are um, being seen by. But for the normal children or the children that don't have these issues that can deal with the uh, immunity um, or their immune system is fine, it's not compromised, then this is something that I would really encourage them to go through. If the fever goes higher and you're concerned about that, just remember, you know, there are homeopathic remedies that I would definitely suggest and would work with you. But 
for the most part, please remember that a fever is not a bad thing. A fever actually is helping that, have, helping their body get rid of whatever infection that they have within the body. So remember that a fever is a good thing. Sweating it out is a good thing because you're getting the toxins out through the big, largest organ of, on your body, which is the skin. Um, you're maintaining the, the body temperature that way as well. So please don't get too concerned about the fever. When you should be concerned about a fever is when it's a high-grade fever and the child becomes lethargic, which means that they are non-responsive, unable to do anything, you know, can't look at you, can't relate to anything that's going on. That's when you need to be concerned, but the fever needs to be a high-grade fever. Then that's when you actually take action. Until then, remember that a fever is actually working its way through the body and everything is the way it should be. Children can get through this very easily, and really this is one of the easiest childhood diseases that you can go through. Child is going to be off at of school, you're going to sit there, look at them with this rash on their body, and they're just going to be like they're just regular children going around, playing, wanting to do whatever. But they have the day off of school. Actually, a week to three, to three weeks off of school. So just remember that fifth disease is not that difficult and not that hard for a child to get through. The only person that needs to be really concerned would be a pregnant woman um, if she's been exposed to fifth disease and again this would be prior to when the contagious when the uh, incubation period is contagious so this is prior to the rash coming on um, that she needs to be seen by her obstetrician because um, fifth disease does have an, an effect on an unborn child so those are the only things that you really need to worry about and other than that what I really recommend is that the child just gets through it the way they can, the best they can, um, the rash isn't itchy so you're, you're good to go and everything should be fine. So just remember fifth disease isn't that bad, it's not terrifying, it's just that the child is going to have to be home from school until the rash disappears. So hopefully you like this. If you do, please follow me on Facebook and you can, or like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and shoot me off an email and let me know what you're thinking. Um, once again, I'm Shauna Bradshaw. Visit my website at www.drmomhd.com and I look forward to chatting with you next time. Take care.